Hello, and welcome back. So, when Logan Paul makes Austin McGrew cry, part two. Oh, it's just an episode. This guy needs the club. He's chasing that club. He needs that club real bad. <laughs> Let's see what else he has to say. Well, there's slanderous stuff he has to say. Oh, no. It's coming very soon. As you all know, KSI is talking that shit. He's the window of time. Yeah. He's talking that shit, right? Right, right. He's gonna catch that smoke. Um, you know, Logan's been talking that shit, but he needs a win. Before stepping to me, he needs to beat somebody. Is, I think I think a good fight would be him versus Bryce. Sure. Is that gonna be this year? I mean KSI? The next fight? Uh I say the next three or four months. First of all, you can't just go around dictating terms, bro. You don't have that kind of swing. Logan Paul can pick whatever fight he wants. He just fought Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, people are going to say he lost. They're going to keep with that whole nonsense because how else can you have the upper hand, right? Or think you have the upper hand. But Logan Paul would have won that fight. No one's going to let Logan Paul knock out Floyd Mayweather, of course. They're going to keep that. You know, that record seal, that's not going to happen. So Logan agreed to that. As long as you don't knock out Floyd Mayweather, we'll let you fight him. Guaranteed. And whoever fights in Austin McBroom's fights next, they need to have a, a definite contract agreement that none of these cheating refs can come in there. You have to have professional, great quality refs. Yeah. And you have to get paid up front. Because Austin McBroom's going to steal your money. He's a swindler. He's no better than any other scumbag promoter out there. He made a name for himself like he wanted. Cheating scumbag. Oh, boy. So rough. Now, Logan Paul and Bryce Hall fight exactly the same. They have those side punches that really don't have much effect. If they can get those side punches straightened out, they will be lethal. Both of them. That'll be the top top dogs. That's why you got Jake Paul as a top dog, because yeah, he's good, but he can still get better, and he's straightening out his punches. He's not, you know, keeping with that side punch. Does have that sloppy overhand right that gets you knocked out. But that now has become his style of fighting. Get caught with that overhand right. In a Jake Paul fight, you know. That kind of got off track there. A little bit. Anyway, anyway, Austin McBurney needs all these people. He needs these big names. Hate to say it. And you hate to see it. Because he did put on a great show. It was a great show. And the next one will be great too. But he, as you notice, he's always trying to make himself look great. In all his events, in his basketball thing, and whatever he does, he always, you know, tries to look like he's the better athlete and this and that. And that's always going to be the case when you agree to go up against him in any sport now. He's going to make himself look good no matter how much money he's got to pay, no matter what he's got to do to swindle you. He's going to try and make himself look like the better athlete. 
And that's why Bryce Hall's kind of buddying up to him right now, because he just wants to get paid. And then who knows what will happen after that. Once Bryce Hall gets paid, it might be, no, 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 a different story. <laughs> All right, let's hear what else he has to say. No, he's, he's, three, four months. Three, four months. He's saying he needs until December. Be honest, that's too much time. I need to fight somebody in between time if he's not ready. Right. That's just facts. So if you guys know somebody that wants to smoke, I've been hearing... Gib wants to smoke. Vinny wants to smoke. Hey, what about Blueface? He fought tonight. He did fight tonight. Shout out to Blueface. Anybody gets to the ring, I got mad love, mad respect. Yeah. But I also want to say... Who would you fight Blueface? Yeah, what about you fighting? Uh... You think he's snuffy? You got the blue eye. <laughs> <on. laughs> hey, I'm down for any smoke, but I definitely want KSI next. He knows... KSI. He knows I'm, I'm... He has respect for me. He knows I'm competition. Um, okay. I definitely think throughout this process... He needs to work on his hands. He needs to work on boxing because <laughs> if you take a look at his first fight against Logan compared to my first fight, he's nowhere near the fighter that I am. That's just facts. Wow. He's just not a, not as good of a cheater. <laughs> he did his dirty things. He cheated too. Very sloppy fighter. And you saw that progression. There's going to be progression. And if you watch the Logan Paul K KSI Impulsive interview or podcast, whatever you want to call it, he even admits that, KSI admits that he had, he's working on his sloppy form, he's gotten a lot better, but every fighter says, I've got a lot better, blah, 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 that's their big talk. Yeah. And everybody's you know, like, yeah, show me, let's see. So, um, I'll be glad to see that. And, yeah, KSI is entertaining. He's not my cup of tea, com comedy-wise. Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Bryce Hall, those type of guys are, you know, the comedy I enjoy, as far as the internet goes. Little Theo Vaughn, King and the Sting, Brendan Schaub mixed in there. But, you know, it's silly, it's funny. Just specifically the comedy, not the whole entertaining the party and crap and all that. I care less about all that. Of how much clout you have, how good you look, what kind of expensive crap you got. It's just crap. It's literally just crap. Shiny crap. Yay! Look at my shiny crap! Woohoo! Who cares? Yeah. Means nothing. Alright. And he has three years of experience. I only have three or four months. Okay? Last thing I want to say is the money that we do get from the lawsuit, I would love to start a nonprofit for Fighters Pay. For those who don't know what Fighters Pay is, through this process, there's a lot of fighters out there that get taken advantage of by big publicly traded companies like LiveX Live. So you're trying to steal money from people who need it, too. Man. Boy, boy, boy. Never ends with these guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Start a fake charity. Get more money. Because the rumor is he's broke. Foreclosures, all this other stuff. And that's just a rumor. Because obviously he made a ton of money. Just through his little, you know, company, social gloves. Through the promotion, because he didn't pay anybody. Now he's got all that money. It's a lot more than what he's saying, because he can't say the full amount, obviously. Especially till after everybody got paid and this and that. Or, I'm sorry, until everybody gets paid. <laughs> no one's gotten paid yet, except him. Just not by LiveX Live. But he got the brand deals, he got all that money from the promotion, from social clubs. I'm sure those people got paid. Those few people that helped him run social clubs. <sighs> Alright. 